guys welcome to another video um we got the lot full of trucks right now we got the 18 back there we got the new truck and i'm going to show you here just in a second we got the race truck we got the boat we got the tdi over there uh the jetta and then we got the tdi volkswagen over there oh and we got the mercedes we got a lot of projects going on um anyways uh right now i'm setting the valve left because we are going to be getting ready. You guys have probably already seen it in the title of the video, but we're getting ready to go up to Jerome, Idaho for daily driven uh, performances events. I feel like my motor's on its last leg, but I'm just going to set the valve lash, uh, see if that helps. And if that helps, then um, we're good. And I'm not going to send it too hard this weekend. Uh, keep in mind, my event is coming up here in a couple weeks, so I don't want to blow up the motor before my event. And then I'm gonna just full send it at my event. And we're, I was thinking about putting up in a new motor anyways uh, over the winter. Anyways, we're gonna be working on the valve flash tonight and let me show you my new truck over here. This is the new Mega Cab. Um, it's a little dirty right now, we've been mudding. But yeah, this color is absolutely beautiful. I've been looking for a new truck for a long time and it's hard to find one that's been really well taken care of for that. Um, it's got paint match bumper and grill. It's got the new fifth gen grill on it. It's got some TIS wheels. They're a little scratched up and some rust and stuff like that. There's going to need some work on it. It's got quite a bit of miles. It's got about 200,000 miles on it. Uh, it's the Mega Cab. It's the old Laramie. Full, nice interior. It's got the little TV screen in the back. Tons of room in the back. It's absolutely what I've been, I've always wanted a Laramie. Like if there's one pet peeve I have, it's driving a truck that doesn't have leather seats in it. And so, yeah, this is the new purchase. Definitely a lot of plans for this. So stay tuned for this. Um, right now, um, it's basically just stocked. So we have a lot of room to work on it. So, and then we got the old 18 back here. This is the old tow pig. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the old valve lash over here. Got to get those tires out of the back of the truck. And I got to clean this sucker. We got to give her a good wash. And then we'll be heading out tomorrow. So stay tuned. No, oh, it's a mess. Um, it's pretty late now. Um, but I got the valve lash set, started it up. And it was still making that swish, 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 tick, tick. Kind of weird. It's not like a ticking noise. It was like a weird vibration noise. Um, and as I got inspecting it, this fuel rail, um, hold down thing right here, this blue one, that thing is super loose. So it was vibrating. And so that's what was causing the sound. So fix that. Other than that, she sounds really good. She still has no blow by, so maybe we're fine. Um, so now I just need to get a list of everything I need to do tomorrow. I think I need to, I'm going to try and tighten the, uh, torque converter bolts tomorrow and see what I gotta do. I might need to fill up some nitrous. Yeah, it's a mess in here, I know. See you guys in the morning and we will head up to Salt Lake. I'm on the road now. We got the truck loaded up back there. Don't know if you can see it, but she's all loaded up. We're heading up to Salt Lake and actually there's a little surprise I got for you guys. Um, I've been looking for some different tires to put on the race truck. Something that I can drag what race with if I have to, and then I can still dyno it. I actually found a set of wheels and tires on like 1500 bucks for them. No V200s or whatever. It's like 420 bucks a tire. So I'm getting tires that don't have really many miles on them and wheels for the price that I would just get tires for. So we're gonna pick those up. Um, the wheels don't actually look too bad. They kind of look better than the ones that are on it. So pick those up on the way up there and I'll let you guys know when we get there. Made it up to the shop. We went and picked up those tires. They look good. So I got Yim helping me. We're swapping these babies out, getting these old Betsy's off. And we're gonna be putting these ones on here. They're a little, they're, I think they look a lot nicer. And these are the Nido 420V tires, which is what I wanted. They'll be a little bit better for racing and stuff like that, so. We're gonna get these tires on and then keep going. Good. She's got the old nitrous bottle filled up. She's a little in the red. It's all right. We just filled her up so she's warm, obviously. When you fill the bottles up, they get a little warm. Um, 
So she's a little in the red. Hopefully she'll be good in the green when we are about to go. Might have to cool the bottle down. Um, but other than that, this is what the truck looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they look pretty good. Well, what? Uh-oh. Wait, make sure she's closed. She's closed? Yes, yeah, she's closed. Are you sure? Yep. That's what the new wheels look like. She don't look too bad. I think it actually looks a lot better than it did. Um, obviously, they're not. They're still not the best wheels, but I bought them for the tires. Keep that in mind. I bought them for the tires. So, oh, old tires are right there. Those are for sale. If you want them, get them in the comments. And yeah, we're gonna start heading up here. We gotta go pick up his girlfriend. Andy's truck all loaded up. Hopefully, this is the event that it makes its nice pass. But we made it to the hotel. We're all super tired, so uh, we're gonna go to bed, and we will see you in the morning. We just made it to the event. We're getting the truck unloaded. A lot of people are showing up. So we'll let you know when something happens. What do you plan to do with this farm truck? it is actually raining so we're huddled under the old tent under here but got the old truck set up we got the booth set up now we're just waiting for a good chance to go for the rain to stop there's a bunch of people that are dinoing right now and so i'll show you some of that All right, guys, we got Red Delicious strapped up on the diner now. They're starting it up. They're about to run. Hopefully, she holds. Hopefully, this is the number, but I have to wait and stay. See, stay tuned. Got all the cripple walking away.
guess what, guys? The old flex plate, flex plate to converter bolts are gone again. She's ticking again, but hey, the motor is still good for my next event, so hopefully I'll just be able to tighten those bolts. We'll be able to send it for my event. If not, we'll have to pull a tranny out of it, put a new flex plate in, hopefully, and we'll be able to call it a day, but we did 1850, I think, on fuel and 2200 on nitrous, which is pretty good for the flex plate coming loose again. Um, it's still not our 2500 number, but that's all right. So we're gonna, there's a, still some trucks I gotta go, so we're gonna watch some event, maybe go watch some burnouts, and then we'll see you guys in a second. got the old truck on the trailer she's definitely clanking really bad she is knocking and clanking so I mean the flywheel is definitely unbolted so hopefully we can get a 12 bolt in here get that in before my event hopefully it's just that it's not the engine but I think that's about it for uh, this event but if something else happens we'll let you know this is getting close to the end of the event Levi here is getting suited up and he's about to run, so we're about to see him go up on the dyno. We'll see what happens. the old rainbow warriors here we ended up taking first in big twin and second in unlimited uh, overall it was a great event um shout out to daily driven diesel they put on an awesome event every year so if you haven't came out here before make sure you come out here um and that's going to be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll get catch you in the next one